we are with 6.5 that is IQAC. IQAC plays a very important role in the governance mechanisms. 6.5.1 is internal quality assurance cell has contributed significantly for institutionalization of quality assurance strategies and processes. There are 10 marks to it. It is expected that two best practices institutionalized as a result of IQAC are going to be mentioned out over here. Now, IQAC takes initiatives and these initiatives are the ones out of which two are going to be mentioned out. All other departments conduct activities. IQAC promotes initiatives. That means that IQAC is a think tank. IQAC conducts the planning and invites proposals throughout the year. Once these proposals have come, they are lined up, the, they are made valid, the finer aspects are understood, they are processed so that funds are made available for conducting the activities. Now, this means IQAC promotes the activities and this is called as IQAC taking an initiative. IQAC should take maximum initiatives. IQAC should take new initiatives. Now what is an initiative? Anything, any aspect that makes the organization better is an initiative. Now in this way new courses can be an initiative. New programs can be initiatives. Cultural promotion can be initiative. Sports promotion can be initiative. IPR related activities can be initiative. Swachya Varata Bhiyan can be initiative. E-governance initiatives can be taken. Technology based teaching can be an initiative. Now these initiatives are suggested by the IQAC to the organization so that the organization accordingly progresses in those areas and makes the areas better. This is how you are able to see IQAC works. That would mean that here two initiatives need to be mentioned out by IQAC. For example, a college has a book bank. Now book bank is an initiative that IQAC has proposed. The books are being purchased and these are the textbooks. The students are made into smaller groups where you are able to see two students get a set of books which they are learning. These books happen to be textbooks. The teacher takes care of the students and tells them what is to be read out in greater details and keeps a follow up of all, the, of all these things. Here you are able to see the library is in association with the teacher. This makes teaching a library centric kind of a teaching. This is an initiative that library has taken. There was a very simple initiative that one of the libraries had taken out. This, libra this library tries to train the students as to how to handle the books. Now, to know where we are taught how to handle the books. The library invites students. When the students come, they are made to wash their hands. They are made to wipe their hands. They are taught how to use the library. They are taught how to handle the books. They are taught how to uh, mark the pages. They are taught how not to scribble on the books. They are told to, to take the books carefully and to keep them at, at the place or in, the, in that particular place very, very carefully. This very small initiative has added to the quality of the books. In the past five years, the library does not have one book which is now torn or which has been scribbled out. By having such kind of processes, the quality of the organization goes on increasing and therefore quality initiatives taken by the library really make a big difference.